Hi, my name is Candace Covington. I'm creator of the Totfus Essential Oil Line, and I'm here with Boyd today, and he's going to ask me a few questions to help us get oriented a little bit about the system. Okay, take okay. it away, Boyd. All right. So, <clears throat> Candace, what is the oil system based on? Well, it is, um, well, several things. Um, I'm going to start sort of at the bottom and build up. Um, and the most fundamental level, it's based off of the elements, which are the primal building bugs of the universe. And so I went ahead, and those are basically from a Vedic lens, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. And from that combination, they believe that basically every combination on earth and in the universe, interior and exterior, does arise. From the elements? That is correct. Okay. All right. How do you use these elements in determining what the oils, what oils to use? Well, that's a great question. I'm going to go ahead and grab a teaching prop right now. Okay. <laughs> so basically, um, tattvas is a Sanskrit term that means element or elemental. And so at the most primal level, literally tattvas means thatness. Being give the sensation that gives rise to the sense of I. And then also within that, my favorite definition is a tattva is literally the thing that sets matter at a vibratory rate. So in sort of an es esoteric theory, and a lot of people who use my system, that is the orientation, it is the aspect that allows emanations of form to basically rise, arise and take on a format. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And? And as you can see right here, the little elements, this one is beta leaf, and every single aspect of its energy complex rises out of it being basically fire seed of ether. And within that, we have the actual element of fire itself, and basically a few of its touch points are its divine masculine, its passion, its will, its identity centered in self, its being able to um, manifest in the physical world, its desire, and it's also um, left brain organization. And then within that, you can see the yantra or the glyph for ether, which um, ether in Sanskrit is akasha, which everyone talks about the akashic field all the time. That's basically the gap, the zero point field, the place of all potential. So basically everything that ever has been, will be, will be, comes from that place. And so when one works with the akashic field, that basically gives rise to true inspiration, creativity, muse energy, divine um, leaps in like potentiality and that also and a fascinating point is that basically the elements give rise to chakras so fire literally creates manipura or the third chakra which is of course right above the navel or the solar plexus and ether basically gives rise to the vishuddha or the throat chakra so as you see that with these two in combination, fire state of ether, basically gives rise to releasing consciousness from matter. It balances the ego. And ether would be analogous to the dark moon or the deep unconscious, which is a very important distinction from subconscious because the unconscious is the reservoir where archetypal images reside. And so the thing is we have all of this potentiality that we can basically harness that will allow us to move into different states of being. But the thing is we have to become conscious to them in order for us to be able to basically utilize their properties. And that is where the fire, or if you were to look at it in a new moon, in a lunar cycle, is the new moon that allows us to shunt information from the unconscious to the conscious mind for use. So then you, these are uh, oils, and this one in particular is an oil for self, if you want to work on yourself, uh, self-transformation, uh, ways of increasing your uh, consciousness if you felt like you weren't stuck or something like that. How, how are these used? How could this one in particular be used for the spiritual seeker? Oh, that's a great question. And yes, and basically, um, fire seed of ether gives rise to true transmutation. And what needs to be defined is that's di different than transformation. Because when you transmute something, it's impossible to resort, you know, resort to its old form and way of being. So basically, um, in a nutshell, this allows people to work on causation patterns or karma, where you where mental will alone won't allow you to move forward to its new state of being. How often have you said, told yourself, I really will not redo this again, but yet you find yourself in that same habituated pattern. This really allows you to basically break down in the ethers, because ether by definition diffuse, pulls apart, and so what happens then is you're back into that all point field where you have the complete freedom to choose to lay down new energetic um, paths basically. So you become conscious on what you want to birth and then the fire allows you to basically 
rebirth that into the material world. So this one really allows you to rethread old behavior into authentically new ways of being. Great. I want some. <laughs>